Testing, testing, testing. Ta 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 ta. Talk real quick. Testies. It's Chris and I today, and we were thinking about what we could do like for fun for you guys when we're out here. There's this one idea that I've had in my notebook for like quite some time that I've wanted to do. That being antique rod and reel versus a modern futuristic rod and reel. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So here's the rod that I will be using. It is a custom rod made by B. Reese, whoever that is. And the reel that it came with was this old Procaster Magforce. It's got a whopping two ball bearings in it. The spool release isn't even on the thumb bar. It's like right here on the side. It's got tiny little plastic handles. I mean, this is the definition of old. I wouldn't call it quite antique, but it is definitely a blast from the past. Then, this is Chris. This is Chris's setup. This is a reel that retails for, I think, $700. It has a digital chip in it. Do you guys see where the, the contrast is here? You've got old 86 Procaster and a reel that really could give the Terminator a run for its money. Does winner keep the reel? <laughs> you wish. So that's actually Chris's rod, then that's my reel, and then this is my uh, dusty little old fashioned on real. kept up really nice though. Anyway, this is the concept for today's challenge. Now here are the rules. Here started three hour time limit first impression of the uh the dyno reel is it's not bad it definitely could be a faster gear ratio reel in this thing and it's quite quite strenuous it casts nicely it doesn't sound too terrible whoa it just gets smoked oh that's my fish you are kidding me that's my fish what the heck did you see that it was crazy dude what <laughs> that is gonna be the most insane thing on earth the fish jumped before I knew he even had it. What the f That's a 12 incher, baby. I will take that all day. Yeah. Make sure he's legal. Check it out. First fish of the day. Not, not how I wanted the first catch to go down, but that's, that's a score for the antique setup. There we go. Nice. That is how we do it. Old fashioned style. No way. Oh no. 12 incher. Not a small though. Well, nope, Chris just caught his fish, first fish. Tied up. Another one? Oh my god, that's a good one. You gotta be kidding me, dude. That's not 16. No, it's not. Get out of here, you bum. Okay, it's not. It'd be point number two, right? No, point number three, because I took the troll motor back. Point number two? No. What are you talking? You've caught two fish. What are you smoking? Second fish, not gonna count. Too small, it's gotta be over 12. Oh, that is close. That's gonna be really close. close. That lay down is so stacked. Like, dude, I don't know if you guys understand this, but we've caught probably six fish just off that piece of wood right in front of me. This is one of those days where you find a good spot, there are gonna be like tons of them there. That's a line. 12 inches. All right, so you Second two. fish, two two. Three. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. Boom. Three points, boy. Antique is kicking the uh, the year twenty twenty reel. Three two. Three two, baby. Um. So initial impressions on this reel, it's. Not awful. It's it's not like to the point where I can't use it and I'm missing all my bites. It's just a little tough set and hook with a, a really stiff 5.11 rod. The reel, I think, is like no joke, probably like a 4.2 to 1 gear ratio. Like I'm trying to find out where the gear ratio is on this thing, but it's slow. So every time I try to winch up, I have to really, really dig in to catch up line. We're missing a ton of bites right now. I know you guys probably think Chris has the upper hand here, but the thing is, is he's using a reel that isn't suited to how he normally fishes casting reels. He's more of a lefty guy, and that's a righty. Japanese and Terry. So he's also kind of uh, SOL on this whole on this whole challenge to begin with, like me. But at the very least, we're catching fish, and uh, I kind of like this thing. It's not bad. You have any more of those Nature Valley bars? I'm feeling kind of hungry. 
Oh, I love getting snagged. There's nothing really that compares to getting snagged. It's just such a good feeling. Oh, there we go. And I guess the second best feeling is breaking off. That's also a really good feeling as well. Oh, gosh, dang it. All right, permission to get the boat or whatever. No. 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 On the worm? All right, so now it's 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. Give me that motor. You got it. All tied up. 3-3. Three, three. No. No, 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 that's two points. That's two points, baby. Yeah, I have a weird feeling that it was yes. a smallmouth. Yes. Just when you think the fish is too small to count for the challenge, it's yeah. a brown bass. I cannot believe that. That's five points right there to Chris's three. Chris just caught one to tie it up, and the rule of this challenge was is if you catch a smallmouth, no matter what the size is, it counts as two points. Just because these fish are pretty rare. That right there is such a clutch fish. I've never loved a ten-inch smallmouth so much before in my entire life. Thank you. You are the best. Mwah. Nine, he was fighting way too hard. I was like, he feels small, but he's also fighting really hard. I got a weird feeling that was a small mouth coming back. <laughs> I had like a weird sixth sense feeling in my gut, like that's a small. Yes. It's all good, man. We'll get better. Chris and I are fishing this rock hump that comes up on a point. You guys can probably see it right in front of me, but it is just juicy. It looks like an area where a small would come off of. Weighted. Six, oh, six, woo! That's it, that's it, boy. Look, he choked it too. These fish are short striking it, so I'm letting them really eat it this time. Started off the day with a swim jig. Caught, like, I think one fish on that. Then switched to wobblehead, caught a few on that. Then I lost the wobblehead, so now I'm throwing a finesse jig. And they are really, really, really digging this. Oh, baby. 14. I'm literally having to take craws off of old jigs and put them on the jig I'm using now. We're so low on soft plastics. I forgot my big bag of crawls. Of course I forgot it. I forgot it back of the car, so I'm, I'm fiending for a decent trailer right now. Look at that, that's all they're eating. Love it. Did you eat some blackberries? Oh, tree. oh we are, this is, this is the bank. This is the lay down bank. This is all wood. Chris is like, let's fish that tree. Nah, I think I'm just gonna blow past that. That doesn't look like any good. I gotta I use what advantages I have. You can't hit that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I fell short of it. I saw that. That's a good one. Oh my god, that was 16. Ugh! That was 100% a 16 incher. That was a big that was one, a, dude. That was a nice one. Oh, I, no. feel, I feel bad. That was a good one. It's, dude, it's not meant to be. When something like that happens, you're already up three. That would have put me one point. That wasn't that was, quite a 20. Dude, that fish was vicious. Did you see that fish jump? He did. I know, I saw your rod go boom. I hit him pretty hard. Yeah, too. you did. You smoked him. Well, guys, it's just not in the cards. <laughs> Guess I'm getting my protein this morning. Get smoked halfway down. You saw my line jump. Yeah. What I was throwing at. Seven. <sighs> seven, seven, seven. Chris just lost potentially 16 plus inch fish. And uh, yeah. Oh, this one's got a uh, hook mark in it. Really? Yes, sir. Oh, easy. Don't break my setup. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Seven, uh, 14, almost 14 inches. I like it. Hey, at least your reel sounds like really good. At least I'm losing in style. Chris has quite a lot of catching up to do, literally speaking, literally and metaphorically speaking. Uh, but up, uh, yeah, I'm gonna delete my channel. It's a small mouth. Unbelievable. Small mouth. Yes! <laughs> Nine points. Yeah, I'm so close. <laughs> there we go. Another two points. Not a big fish at all, but it's a smallmouth, and that's all that freaking matters. It's a smallmouth. Oh, see his molly. Oh, a little finesse jig. Boom. Can we please roll a, a wheel for what minnow you have to eat? Like chub, bro, <laughs> Can we please? No, it can't be big. So sucker. Yeah, 12 inch sucker. He's like cutting the thing up with a fork. <laughs> Go, baby! This is not even close. Oh, that is a keeper. Yes! Oh my god, this feels so good. That's 10. It's unbelievable. John B is. Mwah. All out across them. That's not good. 
You can honestly probably just take a nap in the back. No, it's 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 all good. I'm probably gonna keep fishing for a little bit. I'm having to improvise here. Ran out of craws. I've literally gone through like three packs of craws. What I'm doing now is I'm cutting off a little portion of this beaver bait. I'm throwing the finesse jig. Oh, didn't mean to litter. Let's see if it works. Oh. That's a small mouth. <laughs> 12. I'm getting so pummeled. Oh my God, if you would have made that cast, you would have caught that fish 100%. That fish didn't care what was in there. He ate it on the drop. <laughs> Chris is not having any fun right now. This is my third small mouth. I've never caught this many smalls out here in this lake before, and this is like my fourth or third time fishing it. All right, see a small jaw. Oh, big smallie. Big smallie. No way. You gotta be kidding me. It's small. There was another small right behind him. This is my, what, fourth smallmouth? It's 14 points, baby. Wow, definitely my biggest smallmouth today. It's probably the biggest one I've caught. Chasing it? Yeah, there, there was, was a huge one fish, chasing it. There was a fish right behind him that was probably like a little bit bigger than this one that was trying to get my jig out of its mouth. That is a nice one, man. I cannot the believe that. that. 14 to 3. <laughs> Spinning smallmouth. Another 14 and a half inch part though. Right at the edge of a lay down. This guy cranked it. That is 15 to four, Buster. That one ate the jig. Did it really? Is that how you caught it? Is that it? That's, the, that's your alarm. It wakes me up. <laughs> See, the thing is, last time Chris and I did this challenge, it involved eating some sort of bait, live bait. It was a worm. I lost, and it was on my home lake. Here we are now, back in Illinois. I took home the dub. So you guys know what's gonna happen now. We've put the antique reel up against the futuristic digital reel, and now it's time for this guy to eat a minnow. Is there any way we could just get like one minnow? One minnow? One minnow, yeah. He lost the bet. A big one or a small one? Uh, bigger small the better one. usually, yeah. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a decent sized one. So I'm gonna feel that one. Yep, probably. So we've got the minnow. Nice little fathead minnow. Is that what Large fathead. Large fathead. You guys like, what size do you I want him? Like, he biggest. Scurvy. Okay. Whoa. Come here, buddy. You don't just wanna drink the uh, bait well water? No, I'm not drinking that water. <laughs> there he is. Dude, this is disgusting. Bottoms up, buddy. <laughs> you sure you can't give me anything else like Everclear, like 151? You got this. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I'm just not gonna do it. do it. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> just one running Gatorade, ew. Uh. <coughs> I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. <laughs> Wait, let me see the cup, just to make sure. I'm just kidding. Let me see the cup. Just so the viewers can see it. Oh my god. How do you feel? Uh, my skin's kind of tingling. Cause just because it knows what yeah. just went down. <laughs> That's pretty nasty. That concludes today's old versus new real challenge. So I, I would have to say that we're even now, right? Yeah, that yeah. was, I don't know. Do you taste the worm going down? No. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're curious about what kind of tackle and gear we are using in today's video, I'll leave in the description, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep fishing. I have to poop.